Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I'm Idiot Burns, maker of Burns cases for Ignator, Randall, Synergy, Preamp modules. Um, these are the uh, two channel modules I have here. Um, I have an Ignator module right here, and the rest are Synergy modules. Um, I've been making these cases for a while, and um, a lot of people don't know um, I have a history in avionics, aerospace, design and manufacturing, uh, and electronics. And um, this is something that when I had spare modules, I just said to myself, there's a need. There's a basic need. Um, we should have these um, on the market, something cool like this. And I got wild with the colors and I had fun with it. Um, that being said, there's something I did 20 years ago, well, 19 years ago. Um, I made a guitar um, out of steel, two plates of steel. I had them laser cut. These are some of the samples I had made um, before they were laser cut. And um, I sold that guitar and I didn't make, an, I didn't make more. Um, but the design factor is uh, around 20 years old. And I used those um, templates to make other templates. Uh, eventually this uh, template here for the R. L. James Animal Guitar. So, all that out of the way, I make guitars now, you guys. Here they are. The brand name is R. L. James Guitars. And the uh, R. L. James comes from the names of my kids. Um, Jimmy being the oldest is the where the James comes from. And my girls, Ruby and Luella, are where the R and the L come from. And you can see the name is here on the headstock. R, R, L, James. And it's also right here within the body. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. R, L, James. And so these guitars, as you can see, are made from two plates of aluminum. They're a very thin form. Um, they're powder coated, so they have a very durable paint job, as you can see. Um, very colorful. This one's purple. Um, they use um, some specialty parts. Let me get into that. Um, uh, while they are all designed and hand built by me, they do have some specialty parts not made by me. They come with Northern Redfish uh, necks, which feature um, 24 medium jumbo stainless steel frets uh the canadian maple hard rock maple neck um, some of them have some figuring in them some flaming you'll notice uh, with rose wood fretboards fingerboards um, and they have a dual action or double action truss rod which means you can uh, it, it it forces in both directions um, it's 25 and a half inch scale it's a fast D profile, uh, measuring at 20.5 millimeters here and 21.5 millimeters here. So it's uh, fairly thin. Uh, it has a 14 to 16 uh, inch radius, has a tusk nut custom fitted per instrument. Um, and the entire neck is treated in um, boiled linseed oil. It has a 43 millimeter wide or one and one inch and 11 sixteenths inch wide nut. Um, the parts, the saddles, bridge, knobs, and the pins for the uh, straps are all made um, by Forney Parts in California. Um, um, they're billet aluminum and they're color bright treated uh, so they're anodized um, these are purple and so are the pins to match the guitar and these are silver to match the other parts they have um, aluminum spacers and steel parts um, steel plate steel screws um, the tuners are hip shot they have a uh, purple color match here going on to match the color of the paint and they are the open back locking tuners so you can see the gear in there 
Um, we'll get uh, next to some playing, but first let me uh, finish talking to you about how the guitar works. So what we have here is we have a Seymour Duncan West Houch Jupiter Rails bridge pickup, and we have a Seymour Duncan Hot Rails neck pickup. Uh, equivalent to the Cool Rails bridge pickup, um, interchangeable, um, and two 500k pots, a Sprog tone cap at 0.047 microfarads right here, and a three-way Fat Bat selector switch, which goes bridge pickup, both pickups, neck pickup. Then you have a master volume. So these are master volume and master tone. Then you have the output. As you can see, the output is recessed away just slightly and hidden here just slightly and there's also a switch here as you see it's a two-way switch and that switch is down humbucker up single coil and it's for the bridge okay what else do we got going on here um yeah barrel output jack and uh yeah uh i think i've covered everything it's made of 6061 aluminum there is an rl james bridge string tone block uh right here in between and that that goes right between these two plates and and as you can see there's a string through uh going on right here okay and then you also have the um rl james rlj neck rex plate or the resonant extension plate which is this plate you can see, oh, sorry, I'm losing, losing height here, which is this plate you can see right there. You see that plate? Made it kind of, kind of shiny. But it's that plate here, and it extends underneath the, from underneath the neck to, to the center of the body, and it brings resonance into the body and reinforces the connection of the neck to the body um, physically. So it's the resonant extension plate, the Rex plate. Um, it has, like I said, side mounting uh, jacks here and uh, aluminum grave name plates in the inside and the outside. I think I've covered everything. Um, I do think I'll be making a uh, truss rod cover with ANML on it for the model name, which is Animal. And as you can see, this has inlays that are these kind of parallel lines which have a distinct and cool look to them that i really like all right guys it gives this kind of a look like um wood blocks an illusion of like wood blocks yeah kind of makes your outside strings disappear every other fret too cool look all right guys um so the next stage is to see how it sounds and that'll be a cool uh video of it itself here we go you guys So on this part of the video, I'm going to take the time to kind of go through different uh, settings on the guitar, switching through pickup settings, and showing you how it sounds through a few different modules. I'll use some high gain modules, and then I'll use some clean modules. We'll start with the Ignator Erect module, um, and we'll go with some humbucker and some single coil sounds from the bridge pickup. Here we go. Okay, and single. pickup. Sorry, neck neck pickup. And then combine with the single coil. Combine with the humbucker. Okay, 
Okay, let's go a little higher again. Okay, back to the regular old humbucker. And single. Let's go over to the HPE and humbucker. We'll go a little higher gain. So you can hear when you go from humbucker to, to the single coil. It's very single coil forward. Um, a lot of coil splits don't do that. And you can hear even on a noisy preamp, it stays very quiet. This humbucker right here, a little buzzier. This is very quiet. Let's hear the bridge or the neck humbucker. There we, so here we go. modules here. We'll switch the igniter out. It's called a hot swap. And if you have an open spot in your case, you just place one, the hot one, in. At least give it a little screw so it won't come out. And we'll move over to the Uber Shaw. Okay, might as well. And it goes. Start with the blue channel on the Uber Shaw. Here we go. It's warming up. Now I'm seeing a quail. Neck, bridge, humbucker. 
Single coil. Okay, so next to test is a couple different modules and a couple and a totally different area of, it, of the ball field. Clean modules. Here we go. We have the Tweed Deluxe module and out with the HBE and we have, oh, it's warm, the Vi module. And this is cool because this gives you three Fender clean tones right here and uh, and a Steve Vai lead tone. So we'll start with um, some clean tones here uh, right off the bat. Um, here we go. go humbucker now single Now I'm going to add in the bridge pickup on this. Here we go. on the deluxe preamp. And then I'll go just neck pickup.
bridge. I mean, sorry, it went neck, neck and bridge, neck and bridge split, bridge split, bridge full. And then now the basement. Pickups, but the bridge is humbucker. Both pickups bridge split. Humbucker split. Humbucker split. Split alone. Humbucker alone. to try the lead channel. That was humbucker bridge, your single coil. And splitting the bridge. guys I hope that was enough of a demo of what's going on it's very switchable very tone switchable I feel like the bridge is just really it's like two animals and, and it's just one thing but it's like this the switch 
just really transforms it. Um, and in the clean section, you really got some really good tones when you blend the two together. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, here's some glory shots of it. And there's more pictures on my Instagram. You can go find them. My Instagram is at Idiot Burns. And also this brand has an Instagram at RL James. Go check those out. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.